This is quick shut off valve inside a liquid storage tank at tank's bottom outlet nozzle. Now let us see how it works and what is the purpose of it. Suppose this is one steel storage tank which contains important or costly liquid. When we go for tank outlet from side like this, say this is the outlet line, this is going to one pump. And this is the first isolation valve at tank outlet. When we go for this type of side outlet, then minimum liquid level is like this. That means this is the dead volume or dead storage area which cannot be utilized. To have more liquid storage nowadays we go for this type of bottom outlet from tank bottom this is tank bottom cell this is rcc slab and this is the foundation columns when we go for tank outlet at bottom that means at tank bottom then minimum liquid level comes somewhere here. That means this much of dead volume will be there. So our tank utilization increases by this amount. By this amount. When we go for bottom outlet like this. And from this bottom outlet line goes to the pump like this. And say this is the first isolation valve after tank outlet. Now in this case if there is any leakage through this valve then nothing can be done. Liquid from the storage tank will be lost. In this case also if anything happens or any leakage found through this valve, then liquid will be lost from the tank. That's why the concept of quick shut off valve has come. As per modern tank design, the philosophy of this quick shut off valve has been provided. In this quick shut off valve assembly, at tank outlet, this is one stainless steel cylinder and this is stainless steel piston. This piston can come down and go up. And this is the this is the quick shut off valve and this is the lever. With the help of the lever, this is the stainless steel wire. This stainless steel wire keeps this cylinder up so that liquid can go through the outlet and when the compressed air supply will be stopped then this lever will come down and cylinder will come down and will close the valve. So this valve acts within one second very quickly that's why it is called quick shut off valve. So if we want to have quick shut off valve then we will have outlet from tank bottom only. In case there is any leakage from this outlet valve or in case something happens after this valve in the pump or at downstream of the pump, 
then through the emergency push button this quick shut off valve is closed quickly and this piston comes down and no liquid will be lost in the plant push buttons are kept at 3 4 positions 3 4 locations like at main gate like inside the control room at, and in 2 3 different places when anything happens if anything happens then to close this valve it will take time operator will have to come physically and to close the valve by that time lot of liquid will be lost but if anything happens then after pressing the emergency push button then this quick shut of valve operates and suddenly closes the outlet and this happens within fraction of second now from tank inside you can see how this quick shut of valve is opened and closed now you can see the tank roof also from tank inside now at tank roof you can see the actuator of this qsv or this solenoid valve upper part of this flange is the actuator where stainless steel rope is connected and the stainless steel rope is going inside the tank through this pipe at this point instrument air supply will be connected now once again you can see how this quick shut of valve opens and closes Now you can see how this quick shut of valve is tested from tank inside using light from tank bottom. If there is no light passing through the valve then the valve is ok. There is no light passing.